All right. So we added a function in here to query our table. However, there's nothing in our table. So let's step back, bring in inquirer and use that to add to our table. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to bring in inquirer. All right, and then here we've made a function for querying, but let's not do that right as we connect. Let's instead call the function add base, and let's create that function. So we're going to create our function add base, and what is that going to look like? So here we've got our connection query, and that's querying it, but first we need to get some information. So let's use inquire for that. And if we look over to our inquire documentation, we're gonna do something like this. So instead of copying and pasting, ladies, I really suggest that you type it out because that will help you learn what your order of things are. So we're going to do inquire.prompt and then we have, whoop, we want an array here and in here we're going to have various questions that are formatted as objects. So we have a type and our type is going to be one of these types here that we talked about earlier. And the information that we want to get is to fill our Bayes table. So let's look back at SQL Pro and see what our fields are. So if we look over here, we have a character name. So that sounds like it's going to be an input because they're going to be able to type. So let's do a type of input and let's look back to our inquirer examples. So here's an input, the name is going to be, I'm going to name it character name, since that's what we have over here in our table. And we want a message. What is your character's name. All right, that looks good for the first one. For dates gone on, we've said that um, it can't be null, so we do need to set something there. However, I think that for the purposes of our game, that's not something that we want Inquirer to ask about. However, for interests, favorite foods, and favorite music, I think those are things that we're going to want to get from a user who's setting up these bays. Looking at the various options that we have for Inquirer, I think that I would like um, lists for my other types. So I'm going to have another object here with the type of list and we're going to give it a name of interests and actually hmm, I think maybe they can have multiple interests so we're going to change this to a checkbox hmm, actually let's keep it as one interest so let's leave it as a list. Sorry, ladies, I'm also trying to like think out how 
this game would play down the road. So fortunately, you're, you're getting to listen to me think through some of this. Okay. What is your character interested in? And here we need choices. And that's an array with strings. So podcasts, video games, or reading. And let's see. Let's give it another list here. So type list. We want a name of food. We want a message. What is favorite food? And yet again, we're going to have missed a comma there. We're going to have a list of choices. And we're going to say Italian, Mexican, Greek, Chinese, or American. And then finally, we're going to have one more list type. We're going to have a type for this list. We're going to have a name that is music. We're going to have a message. That is, is your what's your character's favorite music? And let's just double check here. We've got interests, food, and music, and character name. Great. All right, so. Let's give some choices here. We have classical, pop, rock, metal, dance. Sounds good to me. All right, so with Inquirer, we come back here to the inquirer page we then have a dot then after our questions so let's do that so there's the beginning of our prompt and let's follow it up with a dot then and in that dot then we are going to have a function that takes in answers and let's initially just log out answers. And up here we've got at base that we're calling. All right, let's try this. So if I node index.js, all right, so it's mad about this choices. Unexpected identifier. All right, let's see what we did here. Places. We are missing a comma. All right. Let's try this again. All right. What's my character's name? Bob. Bob is interested in podcasts. His favorite food is Chinese. He likes rock music. So here we have our character Bob, whose interest is podcasts, food is Chinese, and music is rock. Great, so we know that we're getting our answers back correctly from Inquirer. But now what do we do with this? 
So in here, after our console log, we're going to want to do another connection query. But unlike where we were doing a select here, we're going to do an insert instead. So here, let's do a um, connection dot query. And we're going to do insert into phase set. And we're going to have our question mark here. And then we're going to have a comma and our quotes there. And let's look back at our SQL Pro and see what we've got here. So ID is going to take care of itself because it's auto incrementing. We have character name and that's going to be equal to answers dot character name. This here is the name that we have up here. Then we're going to have dates gone on. And we're going to have that equal to zero. We're going to have interests and that's going to be equal to answers dot interests. We've got favorite food which is equal to answers dot food. We have what's the last thing that we've got here favorite music. to answers.music and then after we've got this query set in there let's have a function this is going to have error this should look very familiar to you Throw if error, throw error. Otherwise, let's have a log that says added bay. And then after that, let's call our querying function and see what we get. All right. So now if we close out of this and we run node.index, what's my character's name? Lisa, who is interested in reading, whose favorite food is Greek, favorite music is rock. Here we have our answers. We got our added bay. Now we have our results with our row packet data that's got an ID of one. Lisa, no dates, reading, Greek, rock. Let's do this again. So if I run note again, what's my character's name? Let us think Homer. He is interested in video games. He likes American food. He likes rock music. All right, so now we have two results in our table. We've got both Lisa and Homer. If we do it one more time, we have Marge, who is interested in podcasts and likes Italian food, dance music. Here we've got three things we're adding into our table. Um, and that is our results. So here we're adding things into our table using our JavaScript function. And that's adding data.